dogs can lose me God's mother. My dear listener, from where you're listening from, I greet you. And I beg you to please stay tuned to today's news. It was gathered that the government stormed the residence of the laws maker of the lawmaker's mother in Gizawa town around 1 a.m., broke the door and abducted her. Some government on Wednesday abducted Hajia Zainab, mother of Isyaku Halidanju, a member representing Gizawa constituency in the Kano State House of Assembly. It was gathered that the government stormed the residence of the lawmaker's mother in Gizawa town around one hand, broke the door and abducted her. The lawmaker confirmed the abduction in journalists on Wednesday in the canon, saying that the abduction, abductors were yet to establish communication with the family. He said after a refusal, they, fi- they forcefully broke the door to her to her room and abducted her. The lawmaker added that immediately after the attacker left the house, one of the old women's caregiving caregiver raised the alarm and police were immediately alerted. Ali Danja, Ali Danja is former speaker of Kano State, Kano State House of Assembly, and correctly representing this is our local government area in the state of assembly. My dear listeners, we've come to the end of today's news. But if you're not catching up, I would like to analyze this news to you, which was actually talking about a government. They are not they are, they are not well prescribed here. Uh, they, we are actually told they were a government and they came to residence of the lawmaker's mother in Gizawa around the 1 a.m. They broke the door and abducted her. Let's get to an extent when this woman refused. Uh, and I would like to, to let you know the name of the lawmaker's mother. Her name was uh, Ajiha. Her name was Anjiha Zainab, mother of Isyaku Ali Danja, a member of representing Gizawa constituency in the Kanu State House of Rice Assembly. This man was actually a former speaker of House of Assembly, but now it was the it was it was, it was representing Gizawa constituency in the Kano State House of Assembly. We are told here this is when this woman f- refused to you know to apprehend them to open the door for them. They were f- they came in forcefully. They broke the door, you know, to her room and abducted her. And this man, uh, this lawmaker, he he confirmed the abduction abductions to the journalists on Wednesday in Kano. Saying the abductors were yet to establish communicate communication with the family. Wow, ah, uh, my dear listeners, and uh, um, during these issues, when the when the abducted was you know was done, there is a old woman when which was the caregiver. He, she raised the alarm to the police, and they were alerted alerted immediately. My dear listeners, I've come to the end of today's news. But before I go, I would like to see people's reactions and people's opinions about this news. I would like to take a news a comment here which says if you have the capacity to travel with the with the indignation every time that that an injustice to is committed in the world we are not comrade we are comrade you never change things by fighting the existence reality to cheat some things, build a new model that makes the exciting model absolute. God bless Mazi in Namdekano. Hashtag resolution now. I am sorry, lawmaker mother, for the way you are kidnapped, but it is a good that it affected the lawmaker so they can buckle up in their house. They have been kidnapping other people's mothers, children's fathers, sisters, brothers, and including clerics, clergies. Yet, what they discuss in the house is about their allowance budget and how it will be paid. Please, yet, let your son feel what other helpless modernists are feeling. Hmm. According to this woman that reacted to this news, was even happy. she was even happy this happened to a lawmaker's uh, mothers. Because it was actually telling us that um, after, after uh, she would be happy to let him 
lawmakers to feel the same way others people's sons and brothers, mothers, fathers and clergy were feeling also when these situations, you know, when these conditions, when these situations happen to them, uh, uh they they will just all they know is just, you know, uh, you know, discussing about about their allowance and their budget, how it will be paid. But now uh, we won't say it should be going this way. We have to, uh, to, to know, to find a means to tackle these issues in Nigeria. So I pray may God help us. Then I have another comment here, which says, Fake news and blackmail against northerners in Namdi, Kanu, and Hypop went to use, went, want to use pro, propaganda to remove Baba Buhari to get Biafra and Namdi, Kanu is our only problem because we want referendum dates for Igbos. I stand with Baba and Bilu to the Odogu one of Zamfara Ishalao. Mm -hmm. have another comment here. This woman reacted and says, It's hardly you hear from children of IDP camps on matter like this. If you want them to raise hands from IDP, just mention IPOC. They are everyday nightmare. Fake news say, to, say no to Sarah reporter. <laughs> Well, actually, people think this was a cooked up story, and uh, actually, I I won't say I know, and I won't say uh, I don't know. Um, but for for instance, let's let's see, let's see. I don't know how possible could a, a person you know cook a, a cook a story or a, a news up about his mother that was kidnapped. <laughs> this we are talking about mothers. Um, the a driver to a driver to this world, and I don't think that should be possible. But actually, I have another comment here, which will be the last comment I will be taking. Yeah. And this comment says, this comment says, these so-called northern parts are the contrapassion called Nigeria is safety place to stay in the contrapassion, contraption called Nigeria. Good, at least they should deal with rich people and uh, and leave the poor masses. <laughs> My dear listener, let's see what your view is all about today's news. At least we call it a day. Uh, we come to the end of today's news. And we let's call it a day here. Yeah, let's call it a quiz. And please do comment. Do drop your opinions about the uh, about this news. What you what learned and what you think should happen about this news. I'm begging you, please. And please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and do not forget the most important things thumb up your notifications alarm box so you can get notified whenever we down to your platform on this note i call it a quit stay tuned till i will be back enjoy your day flex up <laughs> god bless you thank you